Mm-hmm. Rob Swede, episode eight. Mm-hmm. WTF? What the fuck? I don't know what is going on with me. I'm, you know, I'm in an urban area, and so I take the bus. There's no sense having a car in this. It's like, like you wouldn't, in, you wouldn't drive in Manhattan, and people who are in the know don't drive in Chicago either. So I'm taking the bus, and I get on the bus after returning a DVD and uh, picking up some items at the grocery store. <coughs> and Lord, get on this bus, and I'm first person I see is this young woman, and she was beautiful, absolutely primo, sensational, and I sat where I could look at her, and I almost felt embarrassed because I thought if she ever, if she looks in my direction, she's going to see me cruising her or staring at her. She was so pretty. I couldn't get over her. I said, go, oh. She has, I'd say about 30, maybe a little younger. She had her hair pulled back, nice dark brunette hair, uh, very tasteful makeup, not overdone at all, uh, a, a black blazer, jeans, and those kind of pump things that with the laces that the body of the shoe is, in, is laced, and this, this really pretty scarf around her neck. And I felt, I'm, I'm gay, what am I doing? It obsessed with this this woman. What the fuck? And I it was only a seven minute ride or something if it's even that long. Uh, and I, I I I just couldn't help looking at her. <laughs> I, I I don't ever I'm not an adolescent. I can't be outgrowing my homosexuality and yet I I wanted to take her picture. So they didn't have a camera. Wait a minute, I had one on my cell phone. I didn't even think about that. Ah. Well, then she got on her cell phone, and I, I got off at my corner, and as I'm walking past, and the bus goes past me, I noticed a really hunky young man in a blue Hollister or something T-shirt, short sleeve T-shirt, fit him perfectly, reading his book. Uh-huh. I must be sick. I, how could I not notice him? You know, always when you step on the bus, you look around to see who, who's all there. Then I got off the bus, went into a little corner store to get, get uh, some batteries for this, this microphone right here. And I uh, left there, and there was another hot guy walking down the street as I went by. And I... Uh, I'm confused. Help me. But maybe it's just a phase I'm going through. Or, more likely, it might sh- prove that I'm gay and that marvelous, stereotypical, sensitivity, artistic talent of art, I appreciate beauty. Generally, I lust after male, but I appreciate the beauty, even represented by this feminine specimen. But she was hot. She <laughs> really was hot. And I uh, oh, I just don't under. And now, the Sexy Man movie review. For today, I'm just going to talk about one person, Channing Tatum. Uh, here's a honk who is, he was designed not to wear shirts. I mean, he's got the greatest body. I uh, remember seeing him in the movie Step Up. Long before that, though, I, I, I'd see these these images of him as a model and and delighted that so many of them had he had no shirt on and the movie step up was gratifying as well um, the, but but the last thing that I saw was not the GI Joe movie I, I don't know what he wears in there because I haven't seen it yet but the one a few before that which is now available for rental called fighting where he plays this young street kid who the hustler type, and he's challenged uh, this uh, underground fighting circuit, and that requires the shirt off a lot. And he is fabulous. He also did a movie uh, again with yesterday, with uh, last times, uh, star Ryan Felipe, called um, Stop Loss. But uh, I don't recall him having his shirt off in there, even though some of the promo picture I'd seen of them had both of them with their shirts off, or at least their 
Western shirts unbuttoned, uh, but uh, I didn't see it in the final final cut. Uh, maybe I should review it because I might have been preoccupied. But in fighting, oh, uh, and uh, that this this obsession of mine has made me. <laughs> I like boxing movies and, and uh, well, fight. Fight Club was another good one. If you remember years ago with Brad Pitt and no shirt on. So uh, by all means, the movie is probably a great B movie. Yeah, it's not bad. It was kind of interesting and it was a sweet little love interest. But go see Fighting It because if you're like me, if you like a great, great looking man with a bare chest, well, even when he wears clothes, he's hot. But this one super. I want to hear from you. What do you like? Tell me. Ro drop a note to robsfeed at gmail.com. Robsfeed at gmail.com. Phone the podcast hotline. It's 206-339-1690. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter and, and, and correspond with me there. That's twitter.com. The at sign Rob's feed. Till next time. Thanks.